Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we're going to be watching The Patriot. So, obviously we're doing a lot of war movies. This is obviously uh, uh, as kind of old school war movie as it gets. With The, the Patriot, it's about the Revolutionary War. Uh, obviously, I, I don't think this is, it's historical fiction. Mm. So it's not like a real story. I, I definitely think they take some creative license, but you've never seen this movie. Nope. Huge cast. Uh, Mel Gibson, uh, tons of people. Mel Gibson, Heath Ledger, and then a bunch of other people that that I'm sure you'll at least recognize. I want to see uh, the bad guy from uh, uh, Draco's dad. He's in this oh, movie because okay. he was like the bad guy, and I love. He's actually a really great actor. I love him. So great cast um, and a cool fictional thing. And the Revolutionary War is pretty awesome. So um, as always, full length reaction could be up the Patreon. Uh, feel free to go ahead and check that out. It's like three hours. Um, next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. And let's just get into The Patriot. You've never heard of this movie at all? No. Okay, cool. I've seen this movie, but it's been a bit since I think I watched it in history class in like high school. <laughs> Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I think, and maybe I'm wrong, correct us in the comments, I think this is one of those where it's not like, it's not super historical, but it's not incredibly inaccurate either. I think at least a lot of the like, things yeah. they show did happen, or like are taken from inspiration and stuff like that, which is cool. I have long feared that my sins would return to visit me. <laughs> and the cost is more than I can bear. It feels like a book almost. I like that hint to the previous war. Yeah. What about this one? I kind of like the beauty of it. It's cool. I mean, yeah. you could have gone a gritty angle, but I, th I, I, I like this. Well, it is the start. I'm sure they're gonna get a little grittier or something. But even, I guess, like showing like colonial life as like a... Mm -hmm wholesome thing. Gotcha. Thomas, wait for father. Uh-oh. I like that shot with the sunlight coming in through the... That's cool. Yeah, they're really emphasizing the, the light coming through certain... Hey... You did it, bro. Oh. <laughs> Felt like that was coming. <laughs> That's Dang. relatable. That is relatable. <laughs> so what was in the mail? <laughs> Peter Cuppen joined the Continentals. He's 17, a year younger than I. Oh, he's, he's mm. saying he wants to go. Well, the assembly's been convened, so I've been called to Charlestown? Town. We're going to Charlestown? <laughs> we are. We'll leave in the morning. I just think this is such a uh, unique setting for a movie because like you actually have so few movies. Well, not so few, but I I kind of like this setting, like like yeah. in an older time period. I think it's kind of fun. They're huge. <laughs> what have you been feeding them? Well, they're from good stock. <laughs> On their mother's side, of course. It does me good to see. <laughs> I think they call that uh, chemistry. <laughs> Dang. 
This is not just an assembly here. This is a little rowdy. Eh, that wasn't rowdy for back then. <laughs> That's I'm missing the cannon. I asked that South Carolina be the ninth. Massachusetts and Virginia may be at war, but South Carolina is not. One or two colonies, but for the independence of one nation. I like that that idea is, is so novel. Yeah. We are citizens of an American nation, and our rights are being threatened by a tyrant 3,000 miles away. Be careful away. what you say, dude. Should I trade one tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away? An elected legislature can trample a man's rights as easily as a king can. I understood you to be a patriot. If you mean by patriot, am I angry about taxation without representation? Well, yes, I am. Should the American colonies govern themselves independently? I believe they can, and they should. But if you're asking me, am I willing to go to war with England? Well, then the answer is most definitely no. I was intemperate in my youth. Temperance can be a convenient disguise for fear. Mr. Middleton. I if anything, it's regret, but... There's not a man in this room, or anywhere for that matter, to whom I would more willingly trust my life. Here, here. There are alternatives to war. This war will be fought not on the frontier or on some distant battlefield, yeah. but amongst us. Yeah. Among our homes. And that's to your advantage and, and your great disadvantage. And because I will not fight, I will not cast a vote that will send others to fight in my stead. I'm a parent. I haven't got the luxury of principles. <laughs> Jeez. What a great line. Father, I thought you were a man of principle. When you have a family of your own, perhaps you'll understand. When I have a family of my own, I won't hide behind them. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair either. I don't think that's what he's doing. And I, I think, think he's seen things that most people haven't. But it's also, it's just fear of, of losing more people. Well, I'll see to it that he serves under me. Make him a clerk or quartermaster, <laughs> something of Good that for sort. this guy. He should be mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for enlisting without permission, bro. I love seeing like the full city and stuff. Some of those shots. That's just awesome. Yeah. Oof. That was cool. Dear Thomas, though many seasons have passed, it seems fun. like only yesterday when we last saw each other in Charlestown. Our losses have been grievous. <laughs> Dang, bro. Oh, so no. much for just being a messenger. You're on the front line. Fell at Elizabeth Town. Soon we will march south with General Gates to fight the Redcoats under Cornwallis. Here's the problem is that if you don't fight in the war, like what happens when the war inevitably comes to you? Like you said. Yeah. Because the, the big issue is that like, if we are at war, right, a lot of but I consider myself people that have families don't want to, don't didn't want to fight it. But it's like you have the, to. The British aren't going to care. Either you take the side of the British or they're gonna they're gonna treat you as the enemy. Yeah. Understand I mean like that's just that's the way it is, bro. Uh oh. What are you doing? <sighs> that's it, Thomas. When? Seventeen. That's two years. Dang, bro. He's 15. He actually kind of got to respect him that he wants to 17. go fight. Put it back, please. Six pounders. Lots of them. Most likely heading the other direction. <laughs> Whoa, dude. They might come Thomas, this way. Must I tell you again? Won't father do that? He'll probably kill us, man. 
This kid. Do Lord knows what to you women. Nathan. Bro, you don't know what you're talking about. He's right, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Dude, what? Did it let a random dude walk in on us? Nope. Okay. Wait. Slowly Isn't that turn. the sun? Yeah. Yeah. Father. Yet. Yeah, but I feel like Abigail, the children. What if I mean if he was able to make it here, we gotta of watch course. out. You could get at least strays from the battle, right? Yeah, like they're that close you walked Ooh. here. Gates watched us straight at the red coats. I was giving these dispatches. As I left, I saw the Virginia regular surrender. Oh gosh. The dragoons rode into them. I have to get these dispatches to Hillsborough. You're in no position to ride. I can't stay here. It's not safer. Dang, that was close. Yeah, guys. Get his uniform off, dude. Get his uniform off. And then just hope they don't find him or they will kill him as a spy. Dang. That's really cool. That Just that visual is beautiful. I feel like you need to run. I feel like there's no oh my gosh. Dude, they're right it's in their there. front yard, dude. Look at this. Holy. Oh, now you better hope they're they're not gonna do anything to you guys. I mean if they're helping the red goats, hopefully. <laughs> that don't matter. Hopefully. Because they'll probably just come for supplies, but maybe not. <laughs> what the heck? He showed up? Thank you for the care of His Majesty's soldiers. These guys are probably more ruthless. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these guys are are where there's a little bit of liberty. I think they're like inspired by a group. And I think the British had a ruthless cavalry, but I don't know if they had dragoons. So I know they took some like, I forget what it was, but they took some liberty here. Gotcha. Let it be known if you harbor the enemy, you will lose your head. <sighs> well, that's what you're saying. My standing order of his majesty, King George, all slaves of the American colonies who fight the crown will be granted their freedom. We work this land. Freed men. Well, then you're freed men who will have the opportunity and the privilege of fighting in the king's army, aren't you? Rebel dispatches, sir. Shoot. That's a big screw up right there. Who carried this? I did, sir. I was wounded. These people gave me care. They have nothing to do with the dispatches. Be, don't, don't go too much yeah, to the other direction, dude. Be careful. Take this one to Camden. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. He's got his uniform on. Batch rider and let's a marked case. Destroy the livestock. Save the horses for the dragoons. Colonel, this is a uniform dispatch rider carrying a marked case. Well, we're not going to hold it. We're going to hang him. You, he can't be hung as a spy either. Colonel. Mm. Oh, I see. Colonel, I beg you, please reconsider. By the rules of war. Rules of war. Would you like a lesson, sir, in the rules of war? Or perhaps your children will. <laughs> sir, what of the rebel wounded? Kill them. Yeah, this guy's just ruthless. Oh no. Shoot. <laughs> Bro, what are you. <sighs> Captain? 
that's horrible. Oh, I mean, he right. died a hero, kind of, but it also was so unnecessary. Yeah, but it's like, you know... partial that's kind of his fault the dad's fault yeah yeah because he no. he wanted to avoid the war but he just oh, he didn't he, he, he couldn't it was unavoidable and so instead of doing it on your terms it was forced on them and 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 potentially more people suffered for it and died for it yeah and the one thing is like he you know like lying to his children and stuff like that and saying like no it's not it's not ever gonna come here and stuff like that well like, i don't no. even know if he was lying to them i, I think he actually kind of was lying. well i don't know i don't know if he was actively i think he was t i think he was hoping that himself actually yeah but i feel like that's a little bit irresponsible especially knowing that he is very do they know how to shoot at all i don't know maybe they Hopefully. were handling the guns last time, but it could have just been because they were, they were, uh, you know, patriotic. I don't think he would bring them if they didn't know how to shoot. It's a good spot. Boys, listen to me. I'll fire first. I want you two to start with the officers and work your way down. Can yeah. you tell the difference? Yes, father. Yes, father. Good. Samuel, after your first shot, I want you to reload for your brother, Nathan. Dang, bro. What is Samuel, like 10? I want you two to drop your weapons and I want you to run as quickly as you can. What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim, Aim small, small, miss small. small. <laughs> Aim small, miss small. They're lucky they didn't kill him right away. Yeah, I'm surprised. I wonder, are they able to walk with their guns loaded? Like, are they already ready to fire? I do not know. I think so. I think you would, but I don't know. Oh, dude. If you can get the leader. Dang. Oh, nice. Dang. Dang. Those kids can shoot. The trick is to just keep, like, like make it seem like there's more of you than there are. Lean into the guerrilla warfare. Nice. And they're not in firing line, so <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be quick. And he already what he took out like all of the officers basically already. Yeah, the kids shooting helps even if they don't hit anyone. Yeah. Dang! Okay, the accuracy. Dang. That's brutal. Oh, nice! Snap. It's going full. <laughs> He's like going like... Assassin's Creed over here. <laughs> Tomahawk throw. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the accuracy. Watch it, watch it, watch.
Yeah, I like that you see the brutality. I think it's it's kind of cool because I feel like there's a, there's almost just like a certain headspace to even be able to fight like hand to hand combat and like fight mm -hmm. like that that you have to get in that then results in such a like savagery even with the most civilized people. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm sure a lot of it is just right. He's just mad. Of course, yeah. like revenge. You tell me, how many were there? Were the militia? Were they regulars? I don't really remember how many. I could barely see him. He was there and then he was gone. Well, he just vanished. Sounds more like a ghost than a man. Yes, a ghost. Let's see if we can't capture this ghost before word of his exploits spread. Who's this? Sir, Ooh. this is Captain Wilkins. He was with the Loyalist Colonial Militia. I thought he might be of some use. Another Colonial. You've done nothing for which you should be ashamed. I've done nothing. <laughs> and for that I am ashamed. <laughs> Dang, for all these lines. That's such a good line. Gates and the Continental Army are at Hillsborough. I'm joining up with them. No, no, your place is here now. I'm going back. I'm a soldier, it's my duty. Your duty is to your family. Don't you walk away from me, boy! I'm sorry, Father, I'll find you when this is all over. No, you're not going. I, I forbid you to go. I'm not a child! You're my child! Goodbye, Father. Gabriel! <sighs> Thomas is dead. How many more have to die before you'll heed my word? I think he can say that to you. Yeah, I mean, and you, he even knows it, right? Like, that's what, that's what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. Nathan, I want you to take care of your brothers and sisters and your Aunt Charlotte. <laughs> I'm dependent on you. Is anyone you, Samuel? Good for him for at least going. Yeah. Uh oh. He was out of there in a hurry. Yeah. Sounds like the war is getting yep. close. Yep. The flutes, dude. I don't know if that's how it was, but that's insane if it is. Just like happily doing this thing as we march to death. Mm. Playing music and stuff like that into war. How it is. It's a mental game changer. <laughs> I'm serious. It just feels it's, so crazy. We still do that. Wait, is that? Was that no, okay. I don't think so. I, I think like, they're what? just showing them. Okay, okay. Hey, we see the guy look the other way. We uh, we gotta look. I'm not going back. No, I didn't expect you would. That Gates is a damn fool. He spent too many years in the British Army. Well, because they're probably better trained. Yeah, they're way better. That's what they want you to do. And they have way more men. Jeez. Jeez, dude. Shoot. That was a cool shot. Ooh. Dang. Someone get the flag. A bad retreat is terrible. Inept. Nearly takes the honor out of victory. 
Maybe we need to switch some stuff up. Maybe we need to get into... I mean, it's hard to just swoop in and take command. But, yeah. like, you seriously have way more experience. And if somebody knows that, you need to take command. Yeah, I'm assuming that they would be like, okay, we know you, so... Harry, they're not soldiers, they're farmers. They'd be better off letting the British just march through. They'd be better off, but the cause wouldn't. His Majesty, like history, judges us not only by the outcome of the war, but the manner in which it was fought. Mm. My lord? We serve the crown, and we must conduct ourselves accordingly. Is it not enough, my lord, that I have never lost a battle? You serve me, and the manner in which you serve me reflects upon me. Yeah. But a gentleman from a family as esteemed as yours would understand that. These colonials are our brethren. And when this conflict is over, we will re-establish commerce with them. I like that. Yeah, I kind of like seeing stuff like that. You know, it just adds more depth. Even if they're like a bad guy or whatever. it's And it also, I just feel like that, that really is what happens in war. Especially like... Yeah, the farther back you go, it's like, look, you don't have control over everybody. People do stuff. People go crazy. People rape and pillage this place here. They do the, like, you know, stuff like that does happen. And sometimes yeah. it's not even sanctioned by command. No. Yeah. It's almost just unstoppable. Yeah. This is a house of God. At I least don't bring your I apologize. musket. <laughs> the South Carolina militia. Uh, we got a job to do, though. I'm here to enlist every man willing. Son, we are here to pray and bring more suffering to this town. If King George can hang those men, our friends, he can hang any one of nah, us. Nah, dude, he's gonna... It, your loyalty buys you nothing. Uh-huh. Mr. Hardwick, how many times have I heard you speak of freedom at my father's table? Half the men in this church, including you, Father, will you now, when you are needed most, stop at only words? Is that the sort of men you are? I ask only that you act upon the beliefs of which you have so strongly spoken and in which you so strongly believe. Howard, uh, sir, may I have permission to write to Anne? Dang. Hey? He heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have permission to write me. Write her? Yes, sir. That was a good speech. Thank you, sir. Reverend? What a legend. The shepherd must tend his flock, and at times, fight off the wolves. Yes. <laughs> God save King George! <laughs> I think it's the right place. <laughs> Any bounty? Well, no scalp money this time, Rollins. But you can keep or sell back to me the muskets and gear of any red coat you kill. Oh damn! I'm kill me some red coat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Not quite old enough, but his time will come. John Billings, I was hoping you'd turn up. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I got our little ragtag group. Yeah. What the heck is that? Is that like sore or something? Uh, lead? Or the... uh, right? Because isn't that what isn't that what they would use in bullets? Oh, that's what, okay. And I, I imagine there wasn't any like safety with the toys, right? So they're exactly the sort we need. They fought this kind of war before. Yeah, what about you gotta, me? You got to get some. I'm one of that sort. Hell no. Unsavory people. You're the sort that gives that sort of bad name. Is that how they made the... And precision. 
bullets? Yeah, the... I think they might have. The musket balls or whatever you call them. I guess they're not bullets. Musket balls? Yeah. Fire! That's... This is so cool. That was cool. Go fight smarter. Holy! Wait, whoa! <laughs> oh, that's sick. Whoa, crossfire guy! Whoa! <laughs> Wait! It's okay. It's okay. Look, it looks cool. Alright. That's actually really cool with the cotton. Yeah. Right, these are the guys that we, we want to get. I do like the the variation in like uh, uh, geography and stuff that they show. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's really yeah. cool. There's a lot of swamps though, yeah, you know. Yeah, like. yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah. Perhaps we will never know. This is murder. We are better men than that. What do you know about war? I know the difference between fighting for you a guys call and no, 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 no. quiet. In the future, full quarter will be given to British wounded and any who surrender. The British men of war gave no such quarter when it fired on a ship carrying my wife and daughters. Oh. Watched from 200 yards off as they were burnt alive. Who are you to give such an order? He watched his son get shot down in front of him. And at Fort Wilderness. I sure was like, who's he to say? We're militia. They fought each other. Army. Every man here is free to come and go as he pleases. But while you're here, you will obey my command or I will have you shot. That's kind of dangerous, though. That is dangerous. Because, like... Shoot the damn thing. Stay that pistol. I won't let anybody near the wagon. Madeira! No wonder they were guarding it. Officers' uniforms. The hell, you think all this is worth? Ooh. Ooh. It's the personal correspondence of Lord Cornwallis. Oh, gosh. Don't get it dirty. That's worth a lot. This is his journal. I say we drink the wine, eat the dogs, and use the papers for musket lighting. A world where all men are created equal under God. Equal. Sounds good. I've just been in the mind of a genius. <laughs> Lord Cornwallis knows more about warfare than we could hope to learn in a dozen lifetimes. His victories at Camden and Charlestown were perfect. Perfect. And he knows it, what's more. I love that they don't straw man the villains. Mm -hmm. Pride. Pride's a weakness. That's a major weakness. Yeah. Well, I mean, fair, but... Pride will do. I feel like pride can lead to that, you know? Yeah. And also, you could be a brilliant strategist on the field of battle, but if you don't let it get there, you're all good. Colonel Tavington, why after six weeks am I still here in Middleton Place attending a ball in South Carolina when I should be attending balls in North Carolina? <laughs> you created this ghost, Colonel. True. Mortality has swelled his ranks, without which this ghost would have disappeared and I would yeah, be in I mean, North Carolina or Virginia I don't now. know if he's right about that, but he's definitely right that his, his violence has pushed people. I feel like he is kind of right about that because I feel like without... Uh, our man's intervention, they probably That's wouldn't true. have, you know. Yes, yes, my lord, it has. Yes. Then why am I still wearing this rag? <laughs> my lord, Bro, your not replacement that wardrobe bad. is aboard ship. Relax. But, uh, Colonel Tavington. Now nah, it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute trash. <laughs> uh oh. Are we. Where are we? Are we close to here? Oh, uh, we are. <laughs> yeah, we're right here. <laughs> we used the coats. All right. Feel good in that car. The beast took your dogs as well. Yeah, yeah. Fine animals, a gift from his majesty. Dead now, for all I know. Is there no decency? <laughs> ah. Okay, you guys are assuming things. Hey. You were saying? Oh, oh my words, lovely. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> It's that pride. They didn't expect that. Yep. And and now he's playing the psychological warfare. It's like that that yeah. he knew that. That's a taunt right there. Yeah, they got to you. They got close to you. Just take notice. 
By order of General George Washington and the Continental Congress, all bound slaves who give minimum one year service in the Continental Army will be granted freedom and be paid a bounty of five shillings for each month of service. Dang. Hear that? First they're gonna free them, and then they're gonna pay them. Only another six months. I like them. I kind of like we're they seeing that. Yeah, I kind of like that they showed a little bit of that. Like they honestly, they, they honestly didn't need to. No, um, it, it wasn't really almost even necessary for the plot. But I like that they didn't like well, sugarcoat. Yeah, it's like it's that most focus, surely but. happened. Come on. Look after your mother, Corporal. Take your time. Dogs. <laughs> What kind of dogs are those? I think like Great Danes Great, or something. Great Danes, yeah, okay. They're really big. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. He's like, what the heck happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> I want the movie to just leave him with black teeth for the rest of the yeah. movie. <laughs> These wagons now belong to the Continental Army. Ready, arms! Really, bro? You're so dumb. By twos! Really? Uh-oh. Oh no, they're gonna come in from the side. And your men to die. Leave the wagons and go. This is the king's highway. But I advise you and your men uh -oh. to make way. What the heck, bro? They did not have people in there. Yeah, we need to cover each other. Yeah, but then we gotta run. The cavalry is gonna just rip through us. Shoot. We're taking heavy losses. Oh, snap. It's really bad. We're completely surrounded. Well, not completely, but... We, well, we gotta get into, like, the trees and stuff so that the cavalry aren't such a problem. What? There's no Get way, out. dude. There's no way your your pistol fires that far, bro. That first accurate. off, he, Get out of here. You can't tell me that he's a good. He sucks. Okay, <laughs> he probably is he was trash. aiming for a different guy. Yeah, he's using a he's using aimbot. <laughs> he won't be the last to leave. Trust me, soon my countrymen will arrive. The French army. The hell with you, and the hell with the French army. Tell me what happened. Your mother asked me that question. Not about the time you were born. I was drunk and foolish enough to answer it. The French and the Cherokee had raided along the Blue Ridge. The English settlers had sought refuge at Fort Charles. I wonder if this is like a real thing that happened at Fort Wilderness. They killed all the settlers. The men with the women and some of the children. They had, we caught up with them at Fort Wilderness. We cut them apart. Slowly, piece by piece. I can see their faces. We placed the heads on a pallet and sent them back with the two that lived to Fort Ambercon. Jeez. Tongues, fingers, we put in baskets, sent them down the ash road of the Cherokee. That's uh, vicious. Soon after the Cherokee broke their treaty with the French, not a day goes by where I don't ask God's forgiveness for what I did. Thomas was my brother, as well as your son. You may not believe this, but I want satisfaction as much as you did. What was that? Ooh. Yeah, they survived. The British got 18 of our men at Fort Carolina. They're going to be hung one at a time until they give up the rest of us. I 
I love that, like, even in the midst of all of this, he's still trying to be like, how the heck did they make yeah. this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I did the exact same thing. Why is it? It looked the same. <laughs> I'm afraid I, uh, I don't know your name. I'm a colonel with the Continental Army. My rank should be sufficient for now. I will, unless, of course, you'd like to claim aggrieved status. Yes, I would like to claim aggrieved status. Very well, sir. Proceed. Hmm. You have in your possession certain belongings of mine, including uh, clothing, furniture. And as long as your soldiers attack civilians, I will order the shooting of officers at the outset of every engagement. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, because okay. your, your men aren't following the rules of engagement either. Very well. Now, let us move on to... Prisoner exchange. Top of the ridge to your left, just below the tree line. Are they pretending to hold people hostage, or do they actually have people hostage? Uh, their names and ranks? They refuse to give me their names, but their ranks are nine lieutenants, five captains, three majors, and one very fat colonel who called me a... You know, this is not the conduct of a gentleman. If the conduct of your officers is the measure of a gentleman, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Two can play this game. Uh-oh. I think this is the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Release the prisoners! General, what is this? Prisoner exchange. He has 18 of our officers. Where is he? I recognize him. Thank you, sir. He's killed as many officers in the last two months. He has shown no aggression here. Hence, he cannot be touched. Has he not? It's interesting because yeah. it's his fault. He's the one who goes after the officers. You! Where are all the ghosts, are you? I remember you and that farm, that stupid little boy. It's an ugly business doing one's duty for just occasion. It's a real pleasure. Before this war's over, I'm going to kill you. Why wait? Don't do it now, bro. Um. He just wants you. In the end, he wins. Soon. But the interesting thing is that... <laughs> uh, bro, it's not his fault. The dogs just like him better. But he's right. In that, like, why, why let him leave and things like that. Because... I, I, I know it's like the movie's kind of playing it, but I actually am kind of torn because it's also like, that is kind of screwed up. Like they did have a gentlemanly agreement on the, on the terms of combat. That man insults me. Quite impressive for a farmer with a pitchfork. The man has the loyalty of the people. They protect him, protect his family. I can capture him for you. With his own methods. Yeah. I mean, I almost, you, you would understand the temptation, especially since they're not really following those rules either. I alone will assume the full mantle of responsibility for my actions, free of the chain of command. If I do this, he gets credit. You and I both know that I can never return to England with honor. When this war is over here in the colonies, the new aristocracy. Yeah, he needs some sort of. Yeah. Tell me about Ohio. Well, great. Now it means that it's just. A plantation, seven miles from Wakefield, on the Santee, east of Black Swamp. Who lived there? What do you know about him? Hell, everything. <laughs> I could tell you the size of his boot. Are you serious? Family? Where would he hide his children? His wife's sister has a plantation. It's not far. That's that's the smart strategy. It actually is, is to go after the families. Yeah. It's horrible, but it's true. It's like... And it'll destroy morale. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Wake up. Someone's coming. Yeah, we're not ready, bro. Like, do we have anybody? House servants? Something? Boys. I think you just need to run or something or hide. Go. Yeah, dude, you gotta hide. 
or, or hide out of the house though, or you'll get burned alive. Go to the, can you go to the back? Like, this way. Hurry or sprint. <laughs> Great, dude. This is not good. Parker, quick, get down there, fast. Fast. Shoot, dude. Oh, no, what's his name didn't get down? Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Dude! That's the right move to make, but it's... <sighs> There's no way he doesn't check under the table. You could shoot him. You got your rifle. It's it's just one guy. Yeah, but then he's for sure screwed. Yeah, but he doesn't expect it. Oh no. There's no one in the house, sir. We can't be far. Search the outbuildings in the woods, quickly. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's another guy at the door, too. You're yeah. so screwed. I think, yeah, they're just... Trolling. Ooh. Where'd he go? Batman, bro. What? Oh. Well, that's actually genius. That's really smart. I'm surprised he didn't see his feet. I actually like that he didn't like disappear to some like crazy, crazy like place to hide either. Like yeah. he literally just scooted over and risked it. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should have stayed a little bit. The Oh. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. You're trying to shoot yeah, it for like shot. a mile away. I was just a waste. Yeah, I mean, see, so he's not stupid either. It's like he he knew that's that that once you do that, you're opening up Pandora's yeah. box, and so you gotta you gotta predict the worst. You'll be safe where we're taking you. Father said it was a perfect place to hide. I don't know. I'm his son. Where is father? Huh? Speaking for months now. Speaking for months. Why did he go? <clears throat> oh, uh, he didn't want those mean men to find you, so he led them away. He'll come and see you as soon as he can. I hate it. <laughs> Dang. Well, Susan, you don't hate him. I hate him, and I hope he never comes back. <laughs> Somewhere in the in New England. It's the children. <laughs> oh, they yeah, they yeah, got yeah. freed somehow. I think I think the British freed them. I mean, they were actually already free, but I I don't think the British took them to kill them. I think they just took them to full sentences, as if she'd been uh, speaking all along. <laughs> Dang. Damn, I wasn't there for it. <laughs> what did she say? She said she hates you. And oh. She doesn't want you to come back. That she loves you and uh, misses you. Uh, I don't know if I'd say that. Why you can't be there with her? What the? <laughs> That's such a lie. That's too much of a lie. She said that. There's no way I'd believe that. I'd be like, yeah, he, he, he yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would be more. He's burning our homes, killing whomever resists. Oh my Dang, gosh! Man. Man. A list of everyone. How? Dude, we gotta get everybody's family. Dang. That's not good. Oh. Dang. John. John, John, this is not a time for vengeance. 
This is a time for mourning. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what does he have to fight for he anymore? He has nothing to fight for. One week furlough for all men. Any man who does not return will not be thought a coward or uncommitted to. That's, that's incredible, actually, that he does that. Father! Papa! Father! 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 My God, they're huge. What have you been feeding? <laughs> Dog on their father's side. Thank you. A woman can have a strange effect on a man. <laughs> there were times I, I had trouble breathing around your mother. I know the feeling. You once said, when I had a family of my own, that I'd understand. <laughs> you were right. Dang. You can't just be inviting people to the secret hangout. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> it stays secret. Like, I... Thank you. And Patricia Howard, will you have this man to be your husband Yay. to live in the covenant of marriage? Will you love, comfort, and honor him? I now pronounce you man and wife. That's nice, but I'm just hopefully nothing like. <laughs> yeah, because like we're in the middle of war, bro. I know, but you do need that. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, things like that boost morale. And also, we gotta wait no, a week. No, I'm not saying that. Or however long anyway. Um, I'm just saying. I just I'm hope. I'm sorry we didn't give you. Nothing happens to her right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Something for you. This movie might say Hello otherwise. Hello to Gabriel's mother. That's the only star in the sky that never moves. <laughs> it's constant. Unwavering. Yeah. If you must. <laughs> well. Well, what? <laughs> I'm surprised that she isn't already like married or anything like that. Yeah, I guess not. Soon. I like I, I don't know I, I I really appreciate like the the subtlety of the right even like something like a, oh whatever I'm not my sister because it's like I don't know I feel like acknowledging little things like that is mm -hmm. it shows some some good writing oh all right oh, we're, we're just gonna okay. traumatize we're just... the kids now <laughs> they're all like oh gosh out in the open <laughs> Goodbye, Susan. Just one more gift, all I want. <sighs> all right. made it even harder for him to leave now gosh you believe me you know you make me very happy wonder how many people are coming back yeah that is that is the real question because how many people's how many people's family side even right like <clears throat> Well, they said like seven places, so... So far. Yes, trust the French. Where else do I get the opportunity to kill a few red coats? Perhaps a few wounded ones when you're not looking. <laughs> the dark humor, dude. Hey, that's what we need right now, though. Gosh, people, we got to be so darn careful. Oh. 
Okay. This guy's such a traitor. Everyone's been requested to gather at the church. Colonel Tavington wishes to address the whole village. Ah, oh, this reminds gosh. me of something else that happened in Europe. You better hope those doors stay open. This town was given aid to Benjamin Martin and his rebels. How do you know? I wish to know his whereabouts. Very well. You had your chance. Wait. This man gives Martin. Gosh, dude. He's a black swan. He's alive. You dead in the marsh fool. by what? the old Spanish mission. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. The black swamp, you say? By the old Spanish. We're mission. screwed. Now we don't even know that they're coming. Shut the doors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you said we'd be forgiven. Ready to fire the town on your order, sir. The town. Burn the church. <sighs> There's no honor in this. Didn't you say all those who stand against England deserve to die a traitor's death? I mean, I wish him doing it. Oh. Jeez. That's a horrible way to die. Yep. That's a it's horrible way up. to die. Because you'll just suffocate, right? Well, hopefully, I mean, hopefully you suffocate. That's true, actually. That's the best way. The honor is found in the end, not the means. <laughs> this will be forgotten. It's kind of scary that that's kind of true. It's kind of true in a way. This, I, I, it's like so tragic, but this movie is shot so beautifully, and like all of the tragic moments are like these gorgeous shots of cinematography yeah his poor son can you imagine that's so horrible dude and all their families too right isn't that all their families yeah a lot of them. Oh yeah, all the guys he recruited, right? right? The reverend, all yeah. the yeah, that's the town. Yeah. Dude, this movie's so this movie's so brutal that you don't even pick up on the like plot signs. Like normally I would be like, oh, but you're like, no, they're not gonna do like Is he going off on them? Yeah. I mean, him and everybody else who That's true, wants yeah. revenge. It's like, I understand he's pissed off, but like, if we are really pissed off, then we got to figure out the way to win, you know? Wait, Not actually, like, actually, this might work in our favor. Just by pure luck. Surprise. He's just chilling, shaving. It's true. But I mean, do we have enough people? No, dude, of course. You're gonna kill all our favorite characters. It's whoever reloads faster. Oh no, he's oh, gonna save what him. Do you do? Oh wait, dude. Watch out, shoot him, shoot him, watch out! No. Dang. He has the gun loaded though. Grab it. Get it, get it, Hurry. get it. Get it, it's right there, bro. Yeah, take it. <laughs> nice. Come on. What? There's no way you reload that fast. Get out of here, bro. There's you no can't reload. way. Do we... 
Please tell me. Please tell me. He's not going to shoot him after. Got him. We got him. You better watch out. Don't do some BS movie. <laughs> please. Careful, careful. Please be careful. Bro, that's so sus. Dude, please be careful. <laughs> Every movie ever. If if I uh his gun like fell farther away. It fell though. to it fell his right. Over there. Yeah. Don't get too close. He like he like rolls him over and he's freaking There's no <laughs> he's loading the gun. <laughs> I better not see him pull out a another gun. Watch out or for something. like a knife, dude, actually though. I yeah! freaking knew. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Shoot, bro. How is he still the getting up? We shot him in the... That's so Get BS, out bro. of here, dude. How is he still alive? I love how everyone dies to like one shot. Except him. Except, yeah, except for the bad guy. The main baddie. He's got more Darn plot man. armor than the heroes. This is That's ridiculous. True. Never have I watched a movie where the bad guy has more plot armor than we do. Yeah, our militia's dead. We don't we don't really have anything left at this point. We lost a lot of guys. My wife in Alexandria's with child. My first. <sighs> Benjamin, nothing will replace your sons. But if you come with us, you can justify their sacrifice. Bro, like you're right, but I feel like this is the wrong time, seriously. Why do men feel they can justify death? Is it arrogance? I have long feared that my sins. Benjamin, we have a chance. Green and Dan Morgan are down from Virginia. If we win this next battle, victory in the war is within our grasp. Go then. Stay with us. Stay the course. I feel like this is important. I think he he does need to. He needs to step up here. Yeah. Not not that I even blame him, but like that's but the that's the only way out of this. Like out of complete despair, I think, is finding something greater than yourself. But also like his son his son like Dang. No, that's kinda cool. I like that. That is uh, that is really cool. Yeah, see, I like artistic stuff like that. I don't know. It's just very... Even also, I like that, like, he's had that flag for how long? Yeah. I also don't like the, like, lazy, like, like smart writing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, oh, that's been there f for a while. Let's go, <laughs> boys! Come on! That's pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't get you inspired... That's pretty epic. I like, I have these guys, I don't know. <laughs> They've survived. Dang. <laughs> I love how battered the flag is too. Yeah. His own letters bear out that he has no respect for the militia. So that the there's what are you underestimation. Ben? They won't see us coming. So I know you men have uh, sacrificed a lot so far, but uh, at the front line, the militia fired two shots tomorrow. A lot can happen in a town that takes to fire two shots, especially against British regulars. Indeed, that's why I'm not asking you to fire three. <laughs> Look, he's one of you. He's lost 
he's lost as much as you have. I mean, the real question is, like, do they have as much to fight for? Yeah, uh, that, of course. That's my... It's a little small. If I die, I will die well dressed. <laughs> Heck yeah. I like that. <laughs> oh, he's going to be looking the best out there. I wonder how accurate the uh, battle formations are. I feel like they would be just because if they're using a lot of the uh, reenactors or something. Yeah, like I bet that. you they would be actually. I think even the battles and stuff that we're, we're hitting and like victories and losses are accurate. It's October now. I know. It's more than 12 months. <laughs> You're a free man. <laughs> I'm here now on my own accord. I'm honored to have you with us. I like these two guys at the development. Yeah. You know? that's, that's really cool. Oh my gosh, man. Even just the cannons, like when we get hit by one or two cannons and we're dead. <laughs> See, militia forming at their center. What's the plan though? Because like they probably will be able to fire faster. That's true. So what do we do? He said two shots, right? Yeah. Can we like drop on the floor? Can we charge? Ah, oh, man. Go, 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 go. Get another shot. Eh? Get another. There goes Dang. like half our men. Look at that, dude. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Shoot. Prepare to charge. So we haven't been given that order. Oh my gosh. Gosh, dude, this guy's crazy. Dumb. This is stupid. Abington. Damn him. Damn that man. Yeah, because they're going through center. The center, yeah. right? No, oh, then we're going to freaking... But it had to be enough. Congratulations, my lord. Can we flank Shut him on up, all dude. sides? But my lord, you've taken the field. Now we should take their spirits. Send the entire battalion over that hill and crush them. Dang. Today. I guess you're trying to end that war. Yeah. I like that, though. He's smart. He's not an idiot. Ooh. Oops. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. Yes. Oh, we got our little old baby cannons. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Can you imagine watching this from over the hill? Dang. Oh. Yeah, careful. They still got guys. They still got a lot of guys. Oh no! They're faster. Shoot! Stay. Okay. Oh no! All right. All right. We don't have bayonets either. Half our guys. We didn't put them on yet. I don't know if they had them or whatever. Shoot! What do you do? What is he doing? Dang. 
Dang. <laughs> Dang, man, just with the flag. <laughs> That was cool. That was epic. Look at this shot, dude. This is incredible. Oh, dang. Not the breaking formation. You dream, General. All right. We still also want to get some personal yeah, he's revenge still up. here. He's Let's still take up. this guy down. Dang. <laughs> Javelin it. With the American flag. <laughs> oh! It's like a pike. Dang. That's sick. Dude, oh, no. are you kidding me? Plot armor. I, I, like I said, dude, he <laughs> has better plot armor than the heroes. This Bro. is ridiculous. Kill this man. Okay, but now we get to hatchet him. Good. Shoot. Come on. Come on. Oh. Shoot, man. That's a really cool shot. Fuck it. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Shoot him. Shoot him. You're right. <laughs> My sons were better men. <laughs> Everything will change. Everything has changed. <laughs> Though he eventually surrendered, Cornwallis himself hid in shame, appointing his subordinate to relinquish his sword. Tell the children, and especially Susan, that I will keep my promise. As I will be returning to you all soon. We gotta start over. Don't we? Ah. Dang. Oh, hey. Is that our old place or Charlotte's old place? I uh, one and the same at this point. Gabriel said if we won the war, we could build a whole new world with your home. Dang, that's really nice of him. That sounds good. <laughs> What'd you think? That was good. Wasn't that a good movie? Yeah. There was a lot of things that happened that, you know, that I didn't quite expect, and I think that were pretty pretty uh impactful and not like generic and they're pretty brutal with the deaths yeah yeah um, they definitely were and i th i like that because it really makes especially since it's such like a long movie and it's such an epic i feel like it really makes you feel the cost of war yes it does
Definitely. And and I, I, I think that, like, all jokes aside about plot armor and stuff, I think that is really cool mm. that you see that there's a heavy price to pay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I like the whole kind of idea of the cause versus your personal motive kind mm. of thing going on there. It was very... You know, it's it's a tough question, of course. You know, a lot of times, and I, I, you know, I just like that they addressed it. Yeah, I, I like any movie that addresses it, regardless of whether I agree with it or not. You know? Of course, uh, because it is it's a tough question, and it's always interesting to kind of explore those things. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a, the question that everybody who ever goes to war on any side in any country asks themselves at a certain yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but, yeah, and I, and I think that. You know, it was cool to see just the way that they presented it, like, um, in a movie kind of way of, like, how he prioritized, um, you know, the, the cause or the war effort sure. rather than his, you know, desire for revenge and how he kind of, like, carried the flag and stuff like that as the line was breaking. It's just, you know, it's that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and of course I do think that um you know at the end of the of the day you have to kind of yeah, with a movie like this like there's a few things. Um but because it's kind of like a um how should I say like a historical kind of like fiction kind yeah. of thing going on there. Yeah. Um you know, I can be You you have to like look at it like yeah, yeah you, you know can't what I'm approach it like it's this like incredibly accurate historical movie it's not yeah, and so because of that um, you know normally I'd be like uh, I, I wish that they were a little more like how should I say I don't know you, you this is more of a personal thing um, yeah but I I always like when they're they're very um fair kind of like to both sides yeah oh um, they totally weren't you know what i'm saying <laughs> but no this but is a, I, I can kind of forgive it here because it's like now is it outside the realm of possibility that there no. was people like that like no, no they're not absolutely not in no. fact there's people for sure there's an event you know like for example the burning of the church that could have 100 percent. and happened. stuff did stuff, and stuff like has did, i i i think they kind of combined events and stuff uh-huh. like that but there were stuff that happened uh, to the revolutionaries, yeah, and so like in if that it, war, that were horrible. They, yeah. they had some stuff to happen, and if it was like, you know, so how should I say, like evil to the point where it's like, nah, that <laughs> that never happens except for like very few. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. I'd be like, well, I can only forgive you if that was exactly, you know, like yeah. Yeah. that guy did it. You know, then it's like, well, yeah, it happened. But like, you know what I'm saying? Um, because it's like something where it's like, no, that's totally within the realm of possibility and it's like that happens in a war i'm a lot more like sure maybe it wasn't exactly you know the case but and and that I, happened. I still like too that the movie didn't fully give in to it right it was yeah. like it was like i i actually still appreciate they were like look we're gonna have this is a little bit of a feel-good movie but they still didn't then throw away all nuance it's like yeah he still yeah, suffered so much yeah and and still was was weak and imperfect and this villain wasn't like all the British or these no evil no no murderers. See, that's why it was I like liked. nah yeah. dude and and so it, it was it was within the realm of possibility and it almost felt like respect like it would almost feel disrespectful to the reality if it was so fantastical of course for a, either yeah, side course. it doesn't really yeah. matter whereas this movie it's like all right obviously there's some there's some like pro American ideals and stuff like yeah, that yeah. and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Well, yeah, um, I think you would approach it like that, right? Yeah, exactly. You approach it, you don't go into the movie thinking this is exactly how it was historically. You no, know? but it's it also like, yeah, wasn't inaccurate necessarily either. No, of course. Which is cool. It's like, no, it's historical fiction and leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why I could be a little more like, I kind of want to say forgiving or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I kind of put it aside. Um, yeah, and I like, I, I think one of the biggest things was um, I kind of like the characters, you know. Yeah. Um, the individual uh, people kind of like that made up our crew like the you know the one uh, 
the one like relationship between the one the the slave and the the other guy. I don't remember the yeah. names, but I don't know. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Like it developed yeah. as time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On. I, then, I agree. Yeah, it's stuff like the pastor, right? And um, I really like the French dude, John or whatever. Like he, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of interesting because he was kind of like. I don't know. He felt like a. Uh, he was with the group, but he also felt like his solo, um, the French representative or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know what we it was. Represent the French. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was kind of funny that he was like in there and he was doing his thing. Yeah, I, I just liked all the characters. You know, it was very, it was very nice. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a really well done movie, and I think the action and stuff is pretty cool. Even though it's the action was really cool. Yeah. And the battle, I think just the battle. Cinematically, I think this movie's really well made. Yeah, there, there's just some beautiful shots and and moments even if it's sad or happy or whatever that i think like that ending moment with the american like that's beautiful dude and if you're american it's like that's super inspiring i don't care like that's yeah, yeah. that's awesome um so yeah that was a great movie um as always feel like is gonna be up at the patreon the next week's reaction uh this movie here is gonna be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out and yeah thank you just for being here thank you for joining us for watching if you guys are new here welcome uh hopefully you stick around and if you do we will see you all in the next video.